Hey, hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the uh, side quest completed Cache in the Castle. Um, this is one of the early side quests in the game. Um, a little bit of exploration is needed, um, so you just need to firstly talk to Arthur Plummy, uh, Plumley. Um, so I'm just going to fast forward this little bit here because you don't really need to watch, or there's no guide here, it's just a little cutscene where he talks. And obviously, obviously, if you are playing the game, you are, uh, you are going to be watching that anyway. Uh, but yeah, it basically requires requires you to find a few things that come up on this map here so from that position where you are with Arthur basically just turn around and go down these stairs uh, so just keep going down these stairs follow them all the way around um, and you will eventually come to the uh, the first area that you need to be in um, it will be the skeleton and um, the rhinoceros skeleton that you see uh, in the uh, very first image and the one that probably stands out on the map um, I would imagine I thought that was it um, it's a little bit small um, so you don't need to do that I mean it's quite funny to interact with it anyway but it is in this room anyway so you just keep going past that one and then <clears throat> passed um, down some more stairs here I will be doing uh, some videos on all of the uh, the side quests and main quests in Hogwarts Legacy there is the big one there so there's the rhinoceros so you need to just go near it you don't need to do anything with it um, you don't need to do Revelio or anything like that like I was doing there um, I wasn't too sure but uh, you literally just need to go near it and you'll hear your character say something about it um, once you've done that go to the next one so it's easiest just to fast travel here um, so open up your map with the uh, the little pad in the in the middle um, and then you want to go over to not there um, but just over to this one here um, press uh, X on that one to select it and then once you've done so you want to go to the transfiguring um, classroom uh, sorry courtyard um, so that's there um, and then you've just got this little dragon thing here just go up to that and that is the second landmark that you need to find so very straightforward but again it's quite difficult you probably wouldn't be able to do it Sort of without knowing where to go um, because yeah it's very very random and the places are quite far off each other as well so it's not like they're, they're just right next to each other um, but here we go we've got this doorway here so go through here um, and then straight up these stairs and um, that the staircase is actually the next uh, one that you need to go through um, so once you've done that carry on up the stairs um, and now you're really on the right path so there is the picture um, so that is the last of the actual landmarks, but you do need to open it. So just use the R2 and square um, to use ASIO on it, and that will pull the uh, pull the lever, open the picture, and there will be a, a chest inside where you can actually pick up uh, a robe in there as well. So it's worth doing just to you know why not uh, while you're there. So ancient historian's uniform, pretty cool one. And then once you've done that, you just basically need to make your way back to uh, Arthur Plumley and then the uh, the quest will be complete so i'll leave it there hopefully this video has helped if it has please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this there will be a link in the description down below full of hogwarts legacy uh, walkthroughs guides and all that sort of thing uh, as always guys thank you for watching